Chanel's maybe back, but there's a new killer in town, and he makes the Red Devil look like an amateur. Today's Clever News Feed is brought to you by Hulu, where you can stream original series, current season episodes the day after they air, hit movies, and more. One thing's for certain after watching the season two premiere of Scream Queens, there was a killer on the loose and it could be anyone. Can you blame us for not being able to trust anyone on the show ever since we all found out that Hester and her deceased twin brother Boone were basically behind the killings at Wallace University? Anyway, season two of Scream Queens is finally here, and to no one's surprise, there is a new murdering going around extracting revenge, and no one is Safe. Aside from learning a little bit more about former Dean turned Dr. Munch's Cure Institute Hospital and the fact that she hired Zayde and the Chanel's to work for her, let's jump right into five of the craziest moments from the premiere. After we were all reintroduced to the beloved characters of seasons past, we met Taylor Lautner and John Stamos's on screen characters, Dr. Cassidy Cascade and Dr. Brock Holt. We learned that Dr. Holt had a bit of a hand accident, which caused him to receive the world's first hand transplant. But there's something off about the doctor's non-hand. I still see the patients, and don't get me wrong, I'm a genius at solving medical problems, you know, connecting the dots. But I'm a surgeon. If you didn't notice, the hand basically has a mind of its own. So anytime you see the good doctor randomly banging his hand on something or just doing weird stuff with it, just know that he doesn't really have much control over it. All right, so the next WTF moment on our list is when the Chanel's basically cured Cecily Strong's Sasquatch-like character's illness by simply changing her diet. Unfortunately, the side effect of Chanel's non-surgical remedy was, well, this. How's our little Harry Mary doing this morning? <gasps> oh my God, it worked. We cured her. You didn't tell me I would lose all of my hair. At least she doesn't have to deal with all of the unruly hair all over her body anymore, right? Sadly enough, this Harry Mary's hairless life came to an abrupt end, and it was all because she agreed to take a hot therapy bath with number five and this creepy green devil swamp monster. <laughs> Red Devils are so last season, am I right? Okay, enough with the WTF moments. Can we please just talk about John Stamos's steamy shower scene? Same girls. Same. I think it's safe to say that we're all going to need more scenes like that from the hunky doctors at Cure. Anyway, last but not least, how could we leave out Christy Alley's chilling threat towards Chanel? I don't like you. You mess with me and I will eat you for lunch. Carry on. <gasps> Looks like Kappa Kappa's former HBIC has met her match. For now. So what was your favorite moment from the season two premiere of Scream Queens? Please let me know in the comment section. And then when you're done with that, click over here to watch as Kanye serenades a fan who made him cry at his concert. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'm your girl Miriam Issa. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. And before you go, click to the left to check out nine awkward high school moments on Listed. Or click to the right to find out if Kylie Jenner or Selena Gomez would make the best shopping partner on Debatable. We'd like to thank Hulu for sponsoring this episode of Newsfeed. Stream your favorite TV shows, hit movies, and more. Hulu, come TV with us.